Good evening to you as you join us for tonight's live game. Unfortunately, our weather forecast is somewhat less than promising. We're told to expect intermittent spells of heavy rain, which might very well impact on the quality of the football later. It'll certainly add a new dimension, especially for those players who like to keep hold of the ball. A few anxious faces, hoping it will all somehow stay away, but I have to tell you that, we are told, is an extremely unlikely scenario. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. The national anthem of Uruguay rings out. is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We would like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Kalidou Koulibaly. It's easy to just focus on the physical side of his game, Peter, because he's so powerful and quick, making it basically impossible for a forward to get the better of him in a one-on-one -on -one situation. But there's more to his game. He reads the play extremely well and rarely gets caught out of position. And for me, just a complete all-round defender. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Cavani. That's not going to make it. Keita. And it's Niang. Tries to get it forward quickly. Mane, shapes to shoot! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Mane really must have felt he had the measure of the keeper then, but how wrong he was. That's not going far. Now the breakaway. Cavani pushes to get on the end of it. Torreira. And it's got through. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. And it's been taken short. direction he needed I have to commend the wing plate but I have to condemn the defending they've got to stop the cross hoist it forward well positioned to make that interception and it's played forward Being played forward. Fox has got rid of that. Mane battles to win it back. 
Jimenez positions himself well and cuts it out. Bentancur goes looking. Forward it goes. Forward it goes. Keita. And the shot! Oh, the ball's come look. Oh, real danger here. Mane's cross. And that's been well dealt with. Koulibaly tries to get it forward quickly. And the defence can get it clear. And that has been cleared. Idris again. Shooting chance! And another time! Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. Senegal really are in the ascendancy here, and they know they have to register while that's the case. Torreira. And it's played forward. Luis Going for goal! Cavani did well there, he was on to it in a choice. I doubt he'll score too many which come easier than that, Peter, but just look at his movement. He knew instinctively that the keeper would struggle to hold on to it. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Hoists it forward. That intervention was very necessary. Torreira. Tries to get it forward quickly. And they've been caught out here. This is promising. Played out to the right. And here's Cavani. Shot a goal! Kuyate goes looking. Yang gets into a dangerous position. Bentancur. Forward it goes. Jimenez cuts it out. Godin. Jimenez drives it forward. Uruguay are in control here on the brink of half time. And it's played forward. Dean does well to read it and intercepts. Bentancur. Oh, what a ball! It's Cavani! Torreira. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1-0. Keita tries to locate someone up front. Steered forward. Cavani pushes to get on the end of it. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Forward it goes. First 
45 minutes are up. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but that has still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to them. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Uruguay head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. Here we go again. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Torreira plays it forward. Koulibaly knocks it away. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Koulibaly does well there, alert. Looks to bypass the midfield. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Bentancur. Now it's Luis Suarez. Bentancur. Mane. Now the counter. Now it's Keita. And it's Gay. And he's there to clear it. Tries to get it forward quickly. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Bentancur. Well played, he saw that coming. Bentancur really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Keita. There were better options before the ball was lost. Easy to save from up here, I know. Being still separated by the game's only goal. Out towards the flank. Well, this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Oh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Koulibaly. Right towards the front men. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. Jimenez drives it towards the front. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Looking to break out here. Idrissa Gay goes looking. And it's been given away. Muslera sends that a long way. Kiate gets into the right position to intercept. Goes direct to the front line. Tries to get it clear. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Up towards the front line. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. That's been drilled forward. And here's Mane, Diagne, done very well to intervene. Godin. Cavani desperately wants to get on the end of this, and he has been fouled there.
Keita gets it back. Uruguay are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Uruguay are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Plenty waiting in the middle. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Hoists it forward. Well, that's where he wants it. That will annoy the manager. They're making themselves too predictable here. And that's sprayed out wide. Mane gets it up to meet it! Oh, that could cost them. Oh, he can't hide away from how important that was. Time for a change in personnel. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Uruguay just have to run down the clock. And it's played forward. Torreira. Torreira goes looking. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Diagne. That is terrific skill. Senegal desperately need a goal, and this could well be their last chance. Oh, sweet feet. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Torreira. And time is up. Uruguay hit it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, Peter, I'm sure a more comfortable margin would have been preferable, but you can't expect to get your way all the time. I think it was a win earned through game management, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.